Hi and welcome to another video on this bonfire night. So if you hear some firecrackers or fireworks, it's bonfire night. Today I'm going to demonstrate how you measure the real power, the RMS power, root mean squared, from an amplifier. This particular amplifier is an SRM450 version 2. I've just repaired it. Now I won't be able to demonstrate its absolute maximum capability because I can't turn my signal generator on my scope up fast enough. But I can demonstrate the average peak music power and RMS power. If you haven't seen my Mackie SRM450 version 2 basic repair video, I'll give you a basic rundown. This big yellow coil here, power factor correction. One of the advantages of this PFC coil is it boosts the mains from 320 volts rectified and smoothed to 380 in these caps. So this transformer at the back then takes that 380 and gives us plus and minus 75 these two caps here, two rectified diodes so plus and minus 75, plus and minus 39 for the treble plus and minus 15 for all the front end amplifier. It's a class D, these are the two FETs for the base in here and this is an air cooled coil inside this case. I'll be driving this amplifier straight into a 4 ohm 100 watt resistor. This is wire wound, the treble circuit is a smaller resistor. As I said this amplifier has got a plus and minus 75 volt rail for the base. I cannot turn my waveform generator up fast enough to get it to come up to the plus and minus 75 before the circuit starts limiting. But in reality, in practice, if you're a DJ and you've got some thumping bass happening quickly, you'd get a higher peak than I can demonstrate here today. So plus and minus 75 volts, so 150 total peak to peak. That's what I'll be measuring today the peak on the base circuit, not the peak on the treble circuit. If you saw my Electra Voice uh, speaker review, when I did the repair, the power supply was actually measured at plus 36 and minus 35. So straight away that EV is not as powerful as this 450 version 2 Mackie, yet EV quotes a thousand watts. I'll show you the calculations. Let's measure this I'll put a 1 kilohertz sine wave into this amp and we will take the measurements on my trusty scope and I'll show you the calculations. This is not a thousand watts yet it is more powerful than the EV. Right, hopefully this reflection up here isn't too distracting. I think maybe I'll leave the light off. So I've got 100 millivolts going in. Now this Mackie 450, in fact I'll try it now, these Mackie 450 version 2s can normally give you full power at 50 millivolts, or even 44. Whereas something like a rack mounted PV needs 1 volt input. These Mackies have always had a superb front end. 50 millivolts. I think the Electra Voice needed more than 50 as well. So let's put it to the test. 50 millivolts in. 1 kilohertz. Right, so power's on. I've just set this scope to 5 volts per division for the moment. Right, we've got 35 peak to peak. Turn it to 10 volts per division. That's coming up to 70. Now I'm on 20 volts per division. It's just gone over 100, 105, 108 volts peak to peak with 50 millivolts in. As I say, if you've seen my PV amplifier repair, you need one volt to get anything like that. And so the Mackie 450 version 2s and the version 1 have got a really sensitive front end. They'll amplify voltages this small and smaller right up to full power. You don't need one volt input. 
So if you wonder why I keep on harping on about Mackies, I think they're great amplifiers. Right, so we'll turn the power back up again. I can't leave it up too high. I don't want to cook my resistor. It's only a 100 watt resistor. But what I will do, measure, when it gets to the peak power, I'll add the measurement and it will capture everything. Capture it there. There we go, now I've turned the amp back down. Obviously I was driving the amp continuously at one kilohertz at full power. When you're playing music, that doesn't happen. So in reality, you would be able to get more than this peak value, like at a disco wedding or something. I can't hear on this bench test. We've got 103 volts peak to peak. I've got rid of the measurement for a minute. So this is the positive half cycle. This orange dotted line in the middle is zero volts. Positive half cycle, negative half cycle. Ideally the nothing should be in the middle. This amp has a slight offset. But when you're measuring the RMS, you don't take both peaks, you take one of them. Let me get that measurement back. I saw a peak at 108 just then, but... Right, peak to peak 103. We take half of one of those peaks. So we've got the DC RMS voltage, 35.2 volts. So to find the power, you can square this voltage. So 35.2 times 35.2. I'll put some text on the screen. So 35.2 times 35.2 equals 1,239.4 divided by our 4 ohms equals 309.76 watts RMS. So you saw this 450 version 2 Mackie, which is one of my favourites. It's got plenty of supply to deal with, plus and minus 75 volts, so 150 peak to peak. Unfortunately on the scope, I can't drive the base fast enough to get it to spike at like 120, 130 volts. The amp protects itself. I love these 450 version 2 Mackies. They've been superseded with a, a, a version 3, but as yet I've not had a look inside one. I still like these version 2s. These version 2s with a 12 inch or 12 and a half inch woofer really pack a punch. And you've seen me driving 100 volts peak to peak into a 4 ohm resistor here. And this power supply will sit there doing that all day. From just over 100 volts peak to peak, we had 309.76 watts of power. Want to know what a powerful speaker sounds like? Go and listen to one of the earlier Mackie subs, like this SWA 1801. They are frighteningly powerful. This SWA 1801 has a supply rail of 180 volts, so that divided by two, and they pack a punch, and I could not stay in the same small room as one being demonstrated after I repaired it. Anyway, that's how you measure the real power, the RMS power, from a speaker. If you like the video, don't forget to hit like. I'm sure if you're an Electro Voice owner, you'll hit the thumbs down. Thanks for watching.